Okay, today's a new day, and uh, what we're going to do today is start framing in our kitchen area. So I have a refrigerator, I also have a microwave that I'm going to be putting in, and uh, I haven't yet got the, uh, the sink or the stove yet, but those are just going to be drop-in items. But the uh, main thing we need to do is get the area framed in, and then we can start on the countertop and uh, get that laminated and worry about the uh, stove and the sink uh, afterwards. Sort of. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have them picked out before then, but um, that's exactly what we're going to do. So let me show you where we're going to start. Okay, we've got our refrigerator and uh, it's just a little 1.7 cubic foot and it's just the right size. This is just a uh, just an AC uh, 110, so it's not going to run on 12 volts or anything like that. I'm a fair weathered camper, which means I'm going to find parks which have a hookup. All right, no bears and lions and tigers and all that good stuff for me. So we are going to frame in our kitchen area in this section here. Refrigerator will go here, microwave over on this side, and then the uh, uh, stove and sink on top and we are going to make it the same width as uh, we did our cabinets here out from the wall so I'm going to take a few measurements get ready to start framing in um, I think first thing I'm going to do is unbox the refrigerator get it set in place just to give me an idea of what it's going to look like so for my counter height uh, just like my counter in the kitchen uh, in my house, I am probably going to make it at about 35, 35 and a half inches high, which, uh, which is going to be the right height to do all my kitchen stuff. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to unbox, set the refrigerator here, and then I'll get a shot of that. So stay tuned. Okay, we have the refrigerator unboxed. And we have it setting in just about the location that uh, that I think I'm going to need it. The thing that I'm going to do is actually, once I start framing it in, I'm going to elevate elevate the refrigerator about 12 inches off the floor. One, it'll raise the uh, height of the refrigerator, so it'll make it a little easier to get into. Plus, I'll have a little bit of storage space below and I'll also have some room above the uh, refrigerator. The height is actually about 18 and 3 quarters inches <coughs> uh, high and that is going to work out really good. So I guess the first thing that I'm going to start on is this section over here. I'm going to frame it and uh, actually build a, a wall which will be my height. Uh, to put the countertop on and then I'll frame this section over here so basically I'm gonna box the refrigerator in and I'll worry about ventilation once I get everything in place how I'm gonna vent it out um, but for now we're just we'll get things framed in and we'll get that side framed in worry about the microwave and then we'll do the uh, cabinet doors and such. Won't be too much room left over here, but we'll have a little bit of space. Okay, I'll get, get you some shots as uh, we start framing it up. Stay tuned. So now what we have to do uh, for the wall that's going to go here, because we have the uh, wheel well in the way, I cut my piece and uh, we're just going to draw a line for the wheel well. We'll cut that out and it should fit up here without any gaps or any problems. That's the idea. So let's get that cut and see if uh, see if it fits. Alright, here's where we're at so far. So we have this wall installed and we've got our battens here framed in 
And we've got this wall installed also. And my next step is to fasten this brace here. So before we do that, we want to make sure that there's no dip to it or no curve to the top. And uh, I fastened it on here and also on this end. And before I fasten any more in the center, I'm just going to make sure that it's straight. And I'll show you how to do that. Let me set the camera down. So I have it fastened at both ends, which means it can uh, has a little room to wiggle up and down. So we're just going to take our straight edge, set it on there, and make sure that it's not up like this so you, you can see a rise. And we're not going to make sure it's not down so there's a gap in here. So we're just going to make sure that it is straight from one end all the way to the other before we fasten it. Now that I'm confident that I've got it straight, I'm going to go ahead and put a screw right here in the center. And this will lock it in position. Then I can fasten it the rest of the way. There we go. So, once again, I put it on there. No rocker. It's not concave. It's good to go. Also, uh, I have my little smart level. So if I set this on the floor, the whole trailer's got a slope about a half a degree towards the tongue. So if I set my smart level here, I should have, I should have half a degree. So, so let's go ahead and get the rest of the screws installed. And I'll put them about six inches apart. cut a piece same length as this one that'll get installed on the front all the way across to here and then we'll uh, do the same across here put a put a flat piece on here and that and I'll probably make some corner pieces here and on that side so when I set the bit of the top on I'll have something to fast fasten it to and not have to go down through the top because with any luck they'll be laminate on air and we can't fasten through the top alrighty then that's where we're at so far so a couple more pieces of wood to cut and we'll get those fastened on stay tuned okay so I cut the front rail here and I notched it so it would uh, fit flush with the top and also on top here, I'll put a screw here, and when I run my batten across here, then I'll put a screw in here. Leaving myself a little bit of room. And, uh, yep, it's going to look good. And it is nice and flat across the top. So if we take our handy dandy straight edge, lay it on here, lay it on there. Look at that no gaps no gaps whatsoever i like it a lot cool so we'll get that part fastened screw here screw on the other end and then we'll run our stick across the top here and that will be good to fasten the top of our uh, the top of our cabinet on all right stay tuned so i drill my hole and I also countersunk it, so when my screw goes on there, it'll be flush with the top, or just below the surface. 
Also, we're going to run it in fairly slow because what we don't want to do is split our wood because we're so close to the end. And that's it, just like so. Do the same to this side. And you don't really have to reef them so tight. Just enough that that baby is going to hold. Yeah, just like so. Look at that. Oh yeah, good deal. Okay, now I'll cut my sticks for the ends and uh, we'll be done with that section. Okay, once again, stay tuned. All right, so we have our sticks cut and I went ahead and run a pocket screw hole because the way that I'm going to fasten it, so I'm going to put it here and on the inside right there. And I'm going to run a drill bit, no, excuse me, a screw. <laughs> I'm going to put a screw in here, fasten it, and then I'm going to use a screw here to fasten it this way. And then I'm going to put staples on the outside this way. And for these two pieces, we are going to use a little bit of glue. So, we've got our tight bond, tight bond 2, which uh, I have used for, for decades. This stuff's pretty good. I've never yet had it fail on me. So, I uh, tend to, this is my go-to glue. Alright, so, I'm going to put a little bit on the back edge. Right along here, I'm going to put along the end grains here, and I'll probably rub that in just a little bit, just so it doesn't run everywhere. Call that good, like that. That's looking pretty good. Smear the sides here just a little bit, and I'm not using a whole bunch of glue. I just want enough that the uh, that it's not going to slip on me or move later on. So we're going to put that in. Put this in. And lock it down. Right. A couple of my little quick grips. Put one here on this end. Make sure everything is nice and flush. Good deal. And also on this end, making sure I don't get into the pocket hole bit here. So, as I go to do my pocket hole, first thing I'm going to do is I have a long bit that I'm going to pre drill. I'm going to move my cut just a hair. Pre drill right here. Screw ready. I'm using a two inch. Put that in here. And put my clamp back on. So I'm going to very gently. sink it just slightly. I'm using an inch and a quarter screw. I'll put that in there. There we go. I sucked it in. A little bit of glue showed up at the top. Great. And then I'll finish it off by putting some staples on the end. Put 
clam sauce. That looks good. Looks good. And like I said, I'll put some corner braces on here. That way I can fasten from the bottom once I get the top on. Okay, let's do the other side and uh, that'll finish that part. Okay, same as we did with this side. And now we'll do this side here. Just a little bit will do it. Don't need a don't need a whole lot. And then we'll take and run that in a little bit. Pre-drill clamp. hard to do with a clamp on it, so. And run it in slowly. And countersink it just slightly. So we installed the sides, we went ahead and put our wood all the way around the edges, down the side, up here along the edge, and I left it three quarters of an inch long here. And the reason why is just like we did on our cabinets, we're going to put that face on here and then we'll uh, put our plywood on and do our, our routing. So I left three quarters of an inch so when our face goes on, this will be flush with the uh, front of the so the face. It's going to look just like that. And it'll be nice and flush all the way up and down on both sides. And it'll do the same on the ends here like that. And then we'll be able to do our route to ring. Okay, so I had a piece of extra wood here laying around. And uh, I set it up here, and this this gives an idea uh, of the height of the of the kitchen counter. So probably do a uh, stove here, sink here, cutting area, and uh, I think that's going to work pretty decent. So we started by cutting our end pieces, left and right. We cut the notch at the bottom so that fits in there. And then we started cutting our uh, framing. So all the way over the floor, from the floor up against the wall, all the way across the top. And uh, we ran the back piece here. That's where the, <coughs> where the uh, top is going to set on. And we've also got the, the face on here too, the brace. And like I said, we're going to run some corner pieces across here on all four corners so we'll be able to fasten the top from the bottom uh, when that's ready to be installed so our next step is uh, probably to frame in the refrigerator that's what we got done today and uh, stay tuned because we will be finishing all right thanks for watching hey hit the like button don't forget to subscribe Stay tuned.